Good morning. Good to be with you again this morning. Glad to be contributing in this way once again. I was with a long-term client this Friday past, a woman who was traumatized sexually and physically by her father, brother, a past therapist, and a babysitter. We've been working on healing, being less anxious, more whole, learning, growing, managing. We've talked about transcending and including and what this may mean with the narrative of her life. She has learned to survive and function in this world. She has been open to trusting me. And it has been a brutal life journey for her, and she continues to forge ahead. The parts of her that wish to live on are stronger than the parts of her that wish to end it all, at least for now. She's asked many questions, and she continues to mature and to change. And over time, she has allowed me numerous glimpses into her life and framework of beliefs and understandings. She has assisted me in the movement of my own life and practice, how I face people and conduct my work. I am grateful for the changes in my professional perspectives, and I hope to be open to something more and something new that may complement and supplant what is now operative in my life. What may transcend and include mean for each of us? My client and all of us here are works in motion, for the language of the universe is change. And the Greek words that have to do with change and process and transformation and becoming a new creation have at least somewhat been mistranslated by Christian defenders over the years. To be born again, contrary to most current understandings, is a dynamic and ongoing process. We are being born again and again, not just saved in one magical moment or decision. Rather, through the multiple moments and crucibles of life, through the beauty and wonder, the terrible and unjust, we are refined and we continue to define the nature and direction of our lives. We are born again and again with openness to new thoughts, perspectives, questions, and sweet and brave ability to live with uncertainty and ambiguity. We repent and move across and beyond many times as we live and have our being. Not unlike a small egg, a caterpillar, then eating its way toward a certain wholeness, only then to continue in amazing and mysterious process of becoming other things through other stages in time toward yet a new and wondrous being. Becoming, emergence, discovery, pain, wondering, questing, and questioning. For my client and us, what does it take to be better or different than our previous selves, to be engaged in and intentional about transcending and including, dying to the old, taking with us what may be non-negotiable, and arriving at ever new combinations of thinking and behaving? It takes openness and humility, humility that accepts we are limited and only the latest imperfect but magnificent manifestations of the universe and are incredibly limited in our scope of understandings. How can we arrogantly assert anything? Do I and do we maintain that we always have something to learn, that there are always other perspectives nuances of every issue and theme in our lives and communities, with political parties, religious systems, with all we believe and live out. So what questions are you asking? And are you open to the movement of transcending, jettisoning all that is oppressive or limiting or hurtful, open to including elements that have served you and grounded you and set you free? May humility be your strength. May inquisitiveness be your guide. May openness be your undefended heart towards something and someone new. 
not that you would remain in the something new, but rather continually be open to that which is still on the way, moving, expanding, deepening, newly flourishing, now until you breathe your last. So let it be.